Air gap setup. In this video, we will show you how to set up the air gap. So you can vacuum underwater any normal depths and get the material into the debris body. And fill the debris body in minutes. Why is this important? If the setup is not correct, you could overheat a blower and lock it up. Burn the outlet hose off of the blower. Overheat the hydraulic system. Spend more time and cost than necessary to do the job. And never get anything in the debris body. Vacuum measurements. There are two ways to measure the strength of vacuum we use in this industry. Inches of mercury versus inches of water column. One way is how high we can lift a column of water with vacuum. The second is how high we can lift a column of mercury with vacuum. One inch of mercury is equal to 13.59 inches of water column. Most blowers will pull 15 to 18 inches of mercury. So if a fan unit lifts a column of water 120 inches or 10 feet, that would equal 8.8 .8 inches of mercury. So if we put our vacuum hose underwater, a PD unit at 15 inches of vacuum will lift that column of water 203.85 inches or 16.9 feet. Air conveyance. For either system to pull material further, we need to induce air to convey the material greater distances. The Higby nozzle is typically used on a fan machine. There is a 3 foot and a 6 foot length available. Air is drawn in the top of the outer tube to holes at the bottom of the inner tube to aerate the debris. An air gap is typically used with a PD blower. Longer vacuum tube can be used for deeper pulls. The band around the middle of the air gap allows you to adjust the amount of air that is needed to pull from different depths. If your blower is set up for 15 inches of mercury, you could vacuum 15 feet underwater. How to set up the air gap for your application. The first thing you need to know is the depth of the water. Or the length of the vacuum tube needed to get the air gap just above the top of the water. The air gap needs to be as close to the top of the water as possible. Using a paint bucket lid or something to block the end of the air gap, start the blower and bring the engine RPMs up to 1100. Watch the vacuum gauge on the hose reel. And adjust the band on the air gap until you get the depth you measured. Put your air gap on your extension tubes and on top of the air gap, the needed tubing to connect to the boom hose. Send your boom down until the end of the tube touches the bottom. Set your engine RPMs to 1100 and enable the vacuum relief. When the vacuum raises to 10 inches of mercury, you will be pulling the debris from the bottom and raising it to where the air is entering the air gap holes and the debris will fill your debris tank in a matter of minutes. There is no need for higher engine RPMs.